how to change the motor on your Dyson DC33. It does not matter if yours is purple, white, yellow, red or blue. They're all the same. What you need is a Torx T15 screwdriver, at least 4 inches long, a flat screwdriver and some Vaseline. That's all you need. It's really easy if you follow this video. First of all, unplug it from the mains. Get your flat screwdriver or coin and turn these plastic screws anti-clockwise, a quarter of the turn like so. And then this cover will come off like so. Lift the brush out this side, pull and turn. Until the brush pops out. This little pipe just pulls off of this end and this part just twists off like so. Now to remove this floating piece here. To do this either you get a flat screwdriver and pop it out of each end like so. I'm not going to do this because I don't like this method. The easier way in my opinion is to Pull on this piece and just rock it up and down, like so. Same on the other side. Like that. Press here to remove the YouTube and it will come off. Get your torque screwdriver and remove the three screws here, here, and there's a third one here, in that hole. That's why it needs to be so long, because it's quite a long reach. The clutch cover can now be removed, like so. It takes a bit of wobbling, but it does come out. Unhook this rubber belt from that metal motor spindle. Like so. Get your flat blade. We need to pop off this cover from here. from here when you're doing this part the other side does get clipped on back again so hold it from this part push it out like so and then unclip this part again and it will come off There it is. Pull on the belt for the clutch to come out. Pop off these circuits with the flat blade screwdriver. So shove it under there, give it a turn, and then it'll come off. Same on the other side. We need to pull this part outwards, but well, first we need to recline the vacuum and then do it. And it will just literally come off that easily. By the way, these rubber belts are made of rubber, so they can get stretched out over years of use. So if you want to replace the clutch, you can. That will make the brushes spin faster and more aggressively on your carpet and groom it better. Or if you want to Replace the belt, you can do that as well. So go on YouTube and type in Beko 1987 Dyson Clutch Rebuild, and it's that video there. He will show you how to rebuild this clutch with new belts. The filter housing here, remove this blue filter. You need to wash this every month or so. There's a second filter in here, so I push the catch on the top of the cyclone to remove the whole bin. There's another clip here, lift that up. You can wash that filter as well. Washing these filters will improve the suction. Remove the four screws here, 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 
and deep in there that one as well ignore this outer one that's just for this little piece here the screw is now removed the motor housing will come away just take note when you're reassembling the wire goes through these two holders and this one here so it's like an l shape open this clip again and then on this side lift out this corner do the same on the other side and then the cover will come off get your flat blade again open these clips there's four of them but usually if you do three of them it'll come off so one in here here opened up that was locked itself in again you know i've only undone two but it was pop up like so to remove the motor from the housing pull this part of the seal outwards and also apply pressure on this side for the motor to come out but if you're finding it really hard and your motor is already burnt out then you can hit this spindle with a hammer and it should come out up and down and then the motor comes out like so the black wire goes to the blue wire and the brown goes to the red wire get your Vaseline and lubricate around here and maybe inside of here as well just so that this rubber part doesn't grip against the plastic because then that will make it easier for the motor to slide into its housing the wires just pull off okay but onto your new motor from the old motor you need to remove the top rubber part and transfer it onto your new one the top part is always the same but the bottom part just remove that if your new motor has a more wider base then this will not fit okay what you can do is either get a new bottom rubber gasket for the motor or if you just cut off this rim here then it should fit just fine but since my motor is fine and my machine is brand new anyway i don't need this motor just pretend this is the old motor and chuck it away the new motor connect the wires exactly the way they were before unless you're in america and the colors are different then just connect it how it was before you fit in the motor make sure that this shape matches up with the hole this is how it should look like take note of the arrow pointing upwards it means that it's pointing to where the filter sits right here make sure all four clips are securely in place and that there's no gap here for this part, you just stretch out the corners very slightly. You don't want to break the plastic so that it fits onto here. You want to make sure that it's sitting flush right there. It should look exactly like that if it doesn't then try again now to put the motor housing back on the vacuum body but remember early on in the video when i said that the wire has to go in a certain way through these two holders and then up through this one so it's like an l shape remember that so when you're putting this back on like it is now you want to make sure that you don't do this common mistake so this this part here this rim as you can see people assume that it corresponds with this groove here that's not right it should correspond with the inner groove here not the outer one because that's where the cleaner head slides because the cleaner head has that groove here this one 
and that meets here. But for this part, it should mate with the inner rim, like so. Once you fit the motor housing properly and the sitting will flush, then you can fit the four screws to here and to here. And we can move on to putting this back on. So to fit this on, we'll need to bend these ends of the cleaner head outwards. The plastic is actually a lot stronger than you think, okay? So don't worry too much. What we need to focus on is mating this rim here with that groove over there. Because that's where it slides into. Like so. Don't forget to put these on. Next, hopefully you've got a brand new clutch or a clutch with brand new belts, okay? We need to put this back in. So to do this, line up this groove. It goes all the way around. So this groove here meets with this rim over here. There we go. Now, we want to make sure that the clutch is on the off position so that it doesn't mess with the knob, okay? Just pull that upwards so it's in that position, like that. Not resting on that triangle there, but just out like that while the clutch is fully in there. Again with the flash on, hopefully you've got a brand new clutch or brand new belts on your clutch. This groove here meets up with this part here, this little rim. So just to let you know, when we put this clutch in there, then switch it off. Okay, that's off, on, off. We want it off when it's in there. So leave it on for now until we put that in there, then switch it off. It just pushes in like so. It can take a few attempts, but lining it up isn't the easiest thing in the world. But now it's done, let's switch it off by moving that away from that triangle. If that's not touching the triangle and this is flush in there properly, that means the clutch is off. Which knob, it just slides on. So that mates up with this. You'll see a little clip there. Remember, the clutch has to sit in properly for it to go on, like that. Do not switch it on, leave it on the hard floor setting. Hook this belt onto the motor spindle, like that. Give it a few turns so that it's on properly, like that. Just keep checking that the clutch is in properly by just pushing it in there. But now we're gonna put this on, the clutch cover. Like this, so line, line the belt up in here first. And then it goes in nice and neatly like that. Then put the three screws in. Remember there's two here and then there's that awkward long one in there. So this is screwed up now, the clutch cover. Just Turn the belt, make sure it's not trapped, okay? We're nearly done. So get your little hose and screw it onto here. Like that. And then connect this end into the upper hole. Not the bottom one, the upper one. Like that. Then that will just clip in to there. Oh, make sure that the belt, by the way, goes into this gap so that it feeds out this hole, okay? 
rock it back and forth while pushing it in and it clicks the belt is right here same on the other side like that I'll show you a trick here to making your dicing work better so this little hose here see these white coils in here that is actually the spring so that spring pushes this floating piece like so so what it does is it keeps it springy like that that is what pushes the brush bar into your carpet if it's not springy like that you'll either need to wash this hose or just replace it altogether check that your brush bar is clean and it spins freely like that if it doesn't then hold these end caps twist and check that there's no hair in the bearings clean it from dust as well make sure that it's fully clean and it should spin fine don't waste your money on those yellow dice and belt lifters okay you don't need them you're not going to do it all the time this is a one-off pull the belt out put your foot on here not anywhere else put your foot here and then that's where the belt goes so feed it through and keep turning it until the belt goes where it should be and it should sit in exactly like that so this this shape this part here goes downwards all right like so and give it a few turns to make sure that it's spinning fine replace the sole plate like so and tighten up the locking screws a quarter of the turn clockwise making sure that the brush still spins put that on the copy setting it'll work fine assuming you've now got fresh filters for your Dyson and the other one and assuming you got brand new clutch belts or a brand new clutch this part is springy because you got a really good hose there you will have an as new Dyson but don't forget the last part the U-tube also known as a U-bend now your Dyson's all done test it works and subscribe to me for more vacuum videos Keep your Dyson maintained. Always keep the brush bar clean of hair. Empty it when the dirt reaches the max line or empty it whenever you can sooner. And keep the filters clean. Your Dyson should last.